This is Dr. Boone from Advanced Social Work Solutions. How are you? How are you doing today? Are you ready for the mid-week test prep? I hope that you're ready. I'm really excited. Today, I want to share with you about program development. So let's look at the question. Okay, we always read the last sentence first. The social worker should first. A social worker is asked to start an HIV slash AIDS primary prevention program for elderly residents in public housing. The social worker should first. So this is actually going to be one of those community practice questions. Um, it's talking about program development, a primary prevention program for elderly residents, right? So program development has been a big topic that had been coming up with my clients and also, of course, on the Facebook group. So let's look at the answers. A, involve the residents in a program design, in program design. B, provide information about safe sex. C, distribute fact sheets about HIV slash age in large print. And D, arrange a medical HIV slash AIDS screening program. So really it's all about the steps of program development. So let's go ahead and go over program development and then we'll come right back to the question. So step one in program development is going to be a needs assessment. Go ahead and write that down, a needs assessment. And of course, this is gonna focus really mainly on who is the primary target population and what are the actual issues that they are experiencing. So a needs assessment. Um, not only are we gonna identify what the needs are, are they important? Um, is the community even ready to address these needs? What resources are needed to address the needs? Um, and of course, who will help address them? What factors will impede meeting the needs? So all of this is going to be done in a needs assessment. Step two is program planning. This includes developing the vision and mission statement where you define the target population and target issues slash concerns based on the needs assessment. So we already did the needs assessment, but now we wanna actually develop a vision and mission statement based on what we found. Then we're also gonna develop goals and objectives. What is the program actually going to do? Um, that also is going to include program structure, right? Who will administer the services? What kind of expertise should the staff have? And of course, developing policies and procedures is also a part of program planning. Once you plan the program, of course, you would then implement the program. And then after you implement the program, you would want to evaluate. Um, and that is when you're going to go ahead and reference your information that you have on program evaluation, what that is and what that entails. So today I just wanted to focus more on program development. So let's go right back to um, the question that we were going over. All right, so we're starting a HIV slash age primary prevention program for elderly residents. So those are our target population and we have what specific thing that we're going to do, but now we need to know, we need to plan for it, right? Program planning. So which one of these options would best represent program planning? It's not going to actually be B, C, and D because B, C, and D are all implementation and we're still in the planning, program planning stage. Okay, so let's go over that again. Number one, needs assessment. Number two, program planning. Number three, program implementation. And then number four is program evaluation. What? Once you have that information and you know how to appropriately apply it to the question, and then you're able to answer it with ease. Now, I know that the test is not easy <laughs> uh, and that not a lot of things about the test you can say is 
easy, right? Or that you can do it with ease, right? Um, but I want to make sure that I break down the information to you in a simplified way and also give you a strategy that you're able to break down the question. What is the question asking? Um, and also, what information do I need to apply to this question? So it's really important. Those things are important. So I know you've been seeing my Facebook. I know that it's like a lot going on. Um, I have a lot of services going on, but to, not tomorrow, Friday, <laughs> Friday and Saturday, we will be having a workshop. Friday is from 10 to 4 Eastern Standard Time, and Saturday is from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The first day, we're going to do all content. The second day, we're going to do three hours of questions. So you have a really a good way to apply what you've learned to the questions. Um, and so we're going to have a great, great time. But we only have six slots left, only six slots left. Um, and I want you to make sure that you can come to our workshop and get this information. There's actually a thread on Facebook right now talking about the various services that I provide um, and the benefit of them. So if you have a chance, go ahead, type in Sapphire Boone on the Social Work uh, Master's Exam Facebook group, and you will see um, kind of some of the feedback that people have been getting. And it's definitely, definitely positive because I want to help you. So in order to register, go ahead to bit.ly backslash past perfection in all caps. Um, the link is also going to be um, in this post. And I hope to continue to provide information um, and go over questions. Um, and I hope to see you on Friday. All right. Bye-bye.